Okay, meeting is being recorded and done the attendance. Minutes from the last meeting, which would be 9 8 22, that you have in front of you. Do we have any comments, any changes, any? Looks good to me. Everybody all set that's on? Yep, yeah, I'll second it. Take a motion to accept as written. I'll make yep. that motion. That was I'll, Deb. Yeah. I'll second it, Malcolm. Malcolm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous? I'll run down. Okay. Uh, Norm? Aye. Uh, Malcolm? Yep. Dick, me? Aye. Uh, Deb? Aye. Eric? Aye. Okay, we can move on. That's affirmed. Okay, public comment. We have a Corinne and a Diane and Peter. Only public on tonight. Okay, hearing none, seeing none, we're moving we're on. So, uh, CONCOM update, Norm? Yes. <clears throat> we approve the removal of two trees on 8 Shore Road, both in the uh, 100-foot uh, zone, buffer zone. Uh, they will not be removing the roots, but they'll be replacing the two trees, which is... So new. stumps remain and replace two, yep. yep. Norm, yep. they took those down already? They did? No, I asked, did they do that? No. I didn't no. think so. Okay. Uh, nope. nope. Okay. It's just permission to, to do it, right? Okay. Right, yeah. just, just, they just got the permission, yeah. Just yeah. Monday night, so. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, and I had uh, brought up the subject of uh, the cross-functional team to look at uh, E. coli over the winter so that they were prepared for uh, a testing program and a communication program for the spring. And then Dave McWilliams mentioned that uh, there may be a problem at, uh, at 141 that may have caused, may have caused the problem, uh, so a pump that, that was disconnected. And they didn't know it had been dis dis disconnected. Wow. I guess there's a bunch of testing that's going to take place and more to come on that. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, just to keep you informed on, on this, in the last 20 days, I have cleaned up litter at North Pond three times. Wow. I brought out three bags, three bags of uh, litter, one chair. And one full box of cans, bottles, and you know, cans. Oh, the scary part that I find is the quantity of broken glass mm. throughout North Pond. There's one particular area where they had done some campfires that there was a, an empty six pack of glass bottles there, and every one of the glass bottles had been smashed. Wow. So they're intentionally breaking the bottles. Yep. And I've brought out a ton of glass so far, and there's going to be a ton more. Mm. So, but that's pretty much the ComCom update. Okay. Thanks. And I saw there was an article that I put, it's in the Taylor reading file on uh, a lot of that effort that's going on and uh, meetings that the select board are going, more meetings that are going to be had with fish and game, et cetera. Yep. So... All right, how about master plan? Master plan, uh, you have a handout uh, in, the, in the package of the four questions that were uh, not, not a write-in response. And it's kind of, it's kind of interesting, uh, if you look at the first one, which was the town of Southwick has been successful in improving the water quality of Congamon Lake. If you add the strongly disagree and the disagree together, you got 21%. And if you look at the strongly agree and the agree, you got 39%. But then you got 39, almost 40% of no opinion and uh, no response. So it, it, what I'm believing is that those that are close to the lake and use the lake understand, and those that do not use the lake are, are 
don't have opinions. <laughs> Unaware. Unaware. Yep. Okay. And I think that's prevalent throughout all of all of these questions. The second question, the town of Southwark has been successful in controlling invasive weeds. Again, if you add, add the disagree and strongly disagree, you get 18.2%. You add the agree and the disagree, you get 40%. And no opinion and and um, uh, and no response, neutral response, 41.8. So, so Scotty, you're muted. Uh, huh? <laughs> Scotty's muted. Okay. Then the third question, uh, measures uh, such as dredging should be taken to improve the water quality and water flow around Congamon Lake. Again, you combine the two, disagree and uh, strongly disagree, only 6.4, 55.7% uh, agree or strongly agree and no opinion or neutral on 37.6. Okay. Interesting. Yep. And then the fourth one was Congamon Lake is corroded with watercraft. 10.3% disagree, 54.5% agree, and 40% no response or neutral. So hmm. what, what was the agreed number, roughly? Uh, the agreed 54.5. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I've been working on the uh, write-in answers, and I've got a preliminary uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet that if I can share the spread, uh, share my screen, I'll be glad to show it. You'd be able to. All right. Let's Give it a try. See. Let's see if I can. Most disabled participant screen sharing. So I can't share my screen. Okay. I just hit the thing that says multiple participants. Start recording. I'm trying to, it keeps. <clears throat> I got it, Norm. There we go. It's doing now, yeah. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yellow and blue. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Again, this is not final. Um, but uh, what I did, there were, there were there were a total of 900 uh, submittals to the survey. And there were 1,500 and I think 63 uh, responses to option one, option two, and option three. So I went through every <laughs> every line and categorized it. And one of the categorizations was overcrowded. Okay, in option one, 183 people, or 29% uh, of, of the total responses said that was number one. And the number two option, it showed up 110 times or 20.5%. And the number three, 64 times it showed or 16.4. Put this down. So yeah. then you do the grand total. So you got overcrowded. There were 357 or 22.8% of the total input. Wow. Okay. Number two was water quality. Now we're just going to go to the, the grand totals. 38.2% was, no, well, 15.4% yeah. was uh, hmm. water quality and pollution, 118 or 7.5. And you can go right down the list here. So if you go down to the end of the yellow, glitter, I think, yeah, litter is, is, the, is the one. Hmm. That's 75% of the responses were in 10 items. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then 75% is statistically a, a sound number to work with. And the next one is 85. And you pick up five more or six more and you get to 85. So 16 items get you 86% of the total inputs. Wow. Mm -hmm. So then 
I said, well, that's good, but I think I could summarize it a little bit more. And, and so I have here, before I do the second summary, I have here, let's pick a, a little one. Let's pick safety. Okay, so here are all the individual responses that I categorized to safety. And I, I got them by option one, option two, and option three. So I didn't lose the original data, okay? Yeah. It's all in, all right. in the, the spreadsheet has, I think, 33 uh, different sheets. So it's pretty massive. Hmm. Uh, but then I went to summarize a second way. And I said, you know, if you look at overcrowded policy, uh, policing, safety, and restricted boat size, those are really all safety issues. So yeah. I categorize those as safety. And they total 35.6% of the total responses. If you look over here at total responses. That's huge. Then if you add the columns for water quality, pollution, weed control, bacteria, dredging, and septic systems, and categorize those as water quality, you pick up another 32% or 67.6% of all of them like fall into those two categories. Yeah, they're about a 50-50 split. Yeah. Hmm. So, uh, I got a, I got a lot, I got more work to do to this, but uh, I, uh, I'm going to put some barcodes together. I mean, some uh, bar charts together, and probably a presentation. And I think over time we'll we'll pick each, we'll keep, we'll pick a category. There's yeah. one down here called oversight that that we'll want to look at later. Uh, there's conservation and environmental. Hmm. You know, even one for CRC there, Deb. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so it, it's, it's interesting. I think we can, if we study it, we can draw some conclusions and maybe, you know, put some actions in place. And I think yeah. one of the things that's going to come out is, is we need an education plan, uh, particularly weeds. Uh, I think everybody believes the, most of the weeds in the lake are invasive. <laughs> Yeah, which and, unfortunately uh, they're not. You know, they're not. Nope. And uh, you know, so but it was. It's an interesting exercise. But I'll tell you, a lot of effort went into this. I got about twenty-five hours into this project. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Good for you, Norm. That's it. Looks really nice. So basically, about seventy percent of the people are worried about safety and water quality. Correct. Yeah. That's that's Correct. amazing when you look at those stats. Yep. So those are the two biggies right there. Right Boom. there. Yep. Wow, it's cool. And even even if you take, you know, just looking down below litter is kind of to do with water quality too. Uh, yeah, yeah. And actually, I had that in with policing at first, but then I took it out because it, you only get the police. Police can only catch them if they get if, if they're if they, doing it. If they're yeah. doing it, and we know that's not going to happen with littering. No, no. So. But, you know, the rec parts and recs would like to probably see the beach issues that are there. And you know, there's a bunch of increased parking we need. There are some on tax issues. And this is an interesting one here. Too many out-of-towners on the lake. Yeah, Another right. education problem. Right. I think right. This the majority is public... of the people believe that the town owns the lake. And that's not, as we all know, the state owns the lake. Right, right. And uh, so we cannot restrict. Mm -hmm the out-of-towners but if you look at it it was yeah it's not a private lake <laughs> yeah hey norm i got a question for you yes scott i'm just curious if you have any idea out of the <laughs> 900 people that sent the survey back in how many of those people might have anything to do with a boat on the lake uh i i certainly don't know that i, I don't know if we can get at that well the, the only that... reason the only reason I say that is anytime you're out of town, just, you know, a couple of things I'd mentioned. Anytime you're out of town over the years, it's always been the rumor for years and years and years. Uh, where, wherever I'd be, people, when you mention you live on Lake Congo, I say, oh, is it always still as polluted as it always was? Or, you know, yep. that type of scenario, because yep. that stigma has been attached to us for mm -hmm. many, many years. And and it's, my, my own personal opinion, and I think there's others 
on the committee that would share the same thing. Uh, the, the overcrowding issue, Monday to Friday, there's no issues, on, in my opinion, on the lake with overcrowding in any way, shape or manner. It's a Saturday, Sunday situation uh, and some holidays where it gets a little crazy. No question. Yeah. And, and that's the way we were always brought up all these years. You want to go skiing? You go skiing Monday to Friday or you go early Saturday or early Sunday morning. The rest of the time, we didn't go. Right. So, food for thought. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Norm, right. do you think this is in a form that could be uh, shared yet with, you know, forwarded to the uh, uh, select board and, and planning board since they're looking at uh, 141, which we'll get to next? Uh, I definitely, I want to, I want to put it into a package that anybody can use it. Like the police should, should have the policing one. Yeah. The deta all the details. Yeah. You know, conservation should have all the details to theirs. The select board probably wants a lot of it. Because they also want to talk about, you know, like we, like we said about testing the water, which relates to water quality, you know, and, and uh, this has got some great stats in it. Some really, yeah. really great stats. CRC would be interested as well. So that we yeah. can share that. Uh, yes. Idea. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I I, uh, I'll, I'll, I intend to work on that for the, the next uh, uh, master plan meeting and present it there because I want to. I believe that the plan for the other questions is not to summarize it to this to this detail, mm -hmm. and just putting a list together, uh, and and not summarizing it in some format, categorizing it in some format. It's useless information. You you, you got to categorize it to make it useful. Yeah, yeah I agree. It is um, heartening that you know, that a broad survey that went to the whole town comes back with this much uh, lake, lake focused response. Right. That is, that's heartwarming. Yep. <laughs> but again, so, it goes back to who actually filled them out and right. might be just a bunch of lake people. <laughs> well, it, 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 that seems unlikely, right? In other words, if you, if you just randomly sent out, I mean, this was sent out to everyone, right? So, right. Right. But some people don't care. They don't respond. They had a sure. hard time getting people to respond. Sure. So, so the last thing I have for uh, this category is I will not be at our next meeting on the 13th because uh, Master Plan is holding a public session, 630 to 830, uh, where we're going to talk about the town's strengths, the town's weaknesses, the town's opportunities and the town threats. And the public is invited both to the Thursday night one and there's one on Saturday, the 15th on nine to 11. And the public's welcome there. So any of you can attend either of those if you want. I'm gonna pose a question to everybody since you're, you're on. Is this something that uh, enough want to be able to participate you know is it going to be a, a hybrid meeting norm it's hybrid yep yeah is there are enough people here members interested in participating in that in a hybrid form you know whether you do it by zoom or attend that we should cancel our next meeting or reschedule our next meeting i'd vote for that I'm not going to be at our next meeting anyways. I'm in Arizona, so. Um, okay, so it's no norm, no. I'm in the same boat. I'm leaving for Florida for six weeks, October 1. Yeah, so you might want to cancel it. I'm not going to be around. I Like I said, I'm in Arizona. And if that, I think you guys figure it out if you want to go to the meeting or not. Let's do a, a quick poll on it. Um, for those for canceling the meeting, uh, Norm, aye. Obviously, you can't be there, right? Right. Uh, Deb, aye. And uh, Eric, aye. Scott, I can't be there. No. Nope. Okay. And Malcolm, aye. All right. I can't be there. I can't be there. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw mine in that. Scott, 
we got more than a quorum that say they that we should not have the the meeting on whatever that is the the 13th 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 or 4th yeah 13th. okay all right so i will not issue a um a notice on that one and i'll i'll look to try and schedule one maybe the following week if not we do have the week after that we have our normal fourth thursday yep okay do we want to just go for the normal fourth thursday yeah, I would think so. Yep. That keeps yep. it on, on schedule. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So we just won't do a second Thursday meeting. All right. I'll take care of that. Okay. Um, let's see. CRC, are you done with the uh, master plan then? Yeah, I'm done. Good okay. job. Excellent Thank job. You. Thank Excellent. you. Yep. Thanks. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. And really, really, really meaningful the way you presented it. Thank you. Uh, all, right. all right. So the next one would be CRC update. Michelle's not on, but Deb, have you got anything? Yeah. Um, the golf tournament was a good success, and the dinner afterwards was well attended. Um, we'll probably do it again next year. Michelle does the lion's share of it uh, with a few volunteers. There were lots of um, prizes that were available to people, so they made some money on, um, on that. Um, and the next meeting is the second Tuesday of the month. So next month. Okay. Is that it? By the, by the way, I just want to say, I want to, I want to uh, thank everybody on CRC for drawing our family's name for not one door prize, but both. <laughs> <laughs> well, you How did buy you about pay? 600 tickets that have something to do with it. <laughs> Guaranteeing results. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so now the next one is 141 Congamon Road. There's a lot in your reading file. Uh, hopefully yeah. everybody got a chance to read it so we don't have to read it online. No. Uh, and, and there was another batch in the supplement that I sent out. Yeah, saw that. Saw that. Um, I can tell you that I have also, since that supplement came out, uh, which had the letter back, the email back from MassDOT. I have been in contact with the gentleman at MassDOT, uh, the, the engineer District 2, and also the um, uh, traffic engineer. Who, he spoke with the traffic engineer as well. And what was suggested was that I send an official, the other one was just a, you know, like curiosity, but send an official request that they look at safety issues uh, associated with um, allowing cars to basically park within a couple feet of uh, Congamon Road pavement. And so that I sent that out to them. I expect to see something, probably not tomorrow. I'll probably see something Monday, uh, but they're usually pretty quick at getting back with that information. Um, and gave them specifics to to you know to look at what what all you have seen you know on on that uh, on that plan where the where the spaces are located the changes which uh, by the way the, how they how MassDOT views that in safety aspects is they put granite curbing in areas where you can have have vehicles um, to you know meander off the road without any reminder. And the, and the granite curbing is a, rem, is a harsh reminder. <laughs> and so yes. they wanted to take out some of that granite curbing inside. It's actually a double granite curb in that area. And, and also put back um, Cape Cod berm in that area, which kind of, you, you can drive over Cape Cod berm. And so that, that, in itself uh, can present a problem. So I, what I did ask them was, would it be better to substitute either granite curb on the inside as well, don't remove any of it, and or, and, or uh, high profile berm and or a fence so that there's something, because because people could just use that as, as an exit, uh, you know, just drive, you can drive over Cape Cod berm easy. 
it's gentle on vehicles. So, mm -hmm. and it's on, on both sides for most of it. So that's kind of, kind of uh, tough. So that's why I asked the traffic engineer to look at that and look at those options and maybe they have another one. You know, I asked them, you know, have you got any other ideas? So we'll wait and see what they come back with. Um, does anybody have any any uh, any questions on it? You you read what we sent officially. We it basically what what we had before, and I did take care of the enhancements that you asked me to do. Yep. Uh, you know, is there any anybody have any comments questions? Thanks mm -hmm. for doing it. Yeah, you did a good job. No, nobody. No, I think nope. we're in the wait mode. Yeah, right, right. <clears throat> Okay, so we can move on um, to quickly 101 Point Grove Road or on pages 53 to 56. Oh, and Dick, I'm sorry. Uh, the survey that CRC did, uh, you know, it was in favor of CRC moving forward, saying they are not in favor of the marina. So, okay, can we get a copy of, of your what you sent in, what CRC sent? Uh, you mean the letter that yes. goes out? I'll check with Michelle. She was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'd like to get a copy of that. Sure. Because that's that's a broad spectrum. You know, it, it covers. Um, but, if you have any stats on it, how many members responded? That that'd be really really good. Okay. That goes into the chapter ninety one license response. Um, in I guess, and then Ken, you know, Ken had commented on on the response as well, you know, right. just said, look, you know, you, you can make a pretty clear argument uh, for lake overcrowding and you should just do it. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Okay. Any, anything else on that one or? No, sorry, that's oh. it. Okay, that's good info. All right. So moving on then back to uh, 101 Point Grove Road, as you can see the hearing <coughs> The court hearing date was postponed, has not been rescheduled. Uh, Kyle, Scott, and uh, Chief Landis are, are on top of that. That's their, they own it. So um, we'll, we'll know when we know. And uh, it was the, uh, Jen's attorney was the one that asked, because he, he was not available. He, uh, so at any rate, that's that's why that didn't occur. It was supposed to have occurred yes yesterday, today, today. Um, so when's it postponed till? TBD. No date yet. Okay. Um, One fifty nine Berkshire Planning Board, and I didn't, I did not participate in their in their meeting. Uh, again, the hearing was continued for 159 Berkshire. Uh, I don't know if it was closed or is still being continued because uh, I have not seen any any final actions. You know, what has to be done there? That's what they were still going over is corrective actions. And I'll check with Jim Goddard and, and Kyle Scott tomorrow if, if, um, if both are in and see what, uh, you know, what if anything took place at that uh, hearing, which I think they were on the same, they were, when, I think they meet Wednesdays. So it would have been where the uh, 22nd would have been on the 21st then. So I'll find out what I can. Uh, one interesting thing that was not on there, it'd be under other, is we now have kayak rentals out of uh, Chris Auto and and uh, the public access, you know, F Office of Fishing and Boating Access is looking into that because they can't, again, they can't conduct any business on the ramps. They're state boat ramps and that's strictly forbidden, you know, prohibited. So they just have to understand they can have people come down and drop their canoes in the water, but they can't <laughs> come down and educate them how to use a canoe and, and conduct, you know, pay for it down there or anything like that. No business. So that was Kyle's auto? Uh, Chris auto. Chris auto, thank you. 
directly across the street from the ramp. That's where the trailers are that have them on it. And it's it's not them. They're not running it. Yeah, affordable. Affordable auto repair. Yeah, Affor but they're not running it. Yeah. So it's a, another person. And there's a phone number and everything. So all that is with the uh, Office of Fishing and Boating Access, and they're looking into it since they own the ramps. Um, does anybody have anything else on on, on topic of other? <laughs> Nothing? Silence. Silence. You want to cut this one short? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll, I'll make, make a motion. Well, well, somebody. I'll we'll make a motion. Got it. I'll make a motion to adjourn. And a second. I'll second. Eric, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Unanimous. Night all. <laughs>